Well, it's an issue called vaccine hesitancy, and given the record-breaking pace at which this COVID-19 vaccine has been developed, there's never been more concern about safety than right now. Early data from Pfizer's COVID-19 vaccine shows it's 90% effective. 90% is a game changer. 90% now you're uh, hoping to have a tool in your war against this pandemic that could be significantly effective. But the speed and politicization of the COVID-19 vaccine has contributed to major vaccine hesitancy. Are people not sure if they'll take it? In that short follow-up period, there haven't been adverse uh, events uh, that have been identified. That's good news. But on the other hand, we, we still, to really call this a safe vaccine, they're going to have to go out two months. Recent polls showing only about half the country plans to get vaccinated, while the percentage needed to eradicate the virus under a concept called herd immunity is much higher. You're going to have, you know, people that are a little hesitant, perhaps, but it is no substitute for personal conduct and behavior. So the question is, should a COVID vaccine be mandatory in Connecticut, perhaps to attend public school? There may be a possibility that we look at virtual learning. Uh, for many of those that choose perhaps to not utilize the vaccination for medical reasons or for religious reasons. Connecticut has maintained vaccine exemptions for health reasons, but has sought to abolish the religious exemption. And for people who do line up to get the vaccine, the logistics of transportation and storage are complicated. Pfizer requires two doses that may need to be stored at negative 112 degrees. Really deep freezes, not your conventional freezers. And that's going to make a that's going to be a, a, a big lift, not only for Connecticut, but for the nation. The U.S. is also working to stockpile sharps, alcohol wipes and other supplies needed to administer the doses. We believe that um, we are in in in, uh, in good situation to have up to 50 million doses this year globally. And uh, I believe we are in a very, very good situation to have 1.3 billion doses globally. This vaccine will also very likely be free for every American, regardless of health insurance. And we also know that the federal government plans to allocate doses to the states based on population. Reporting outside the Department of Public Health in Hartford, Matt Karen, Fox 61 News.